Hey guys, welcome back to Duo Live, and as I promised, the 120 hertz screen for the Alienware 15 R3 has come in. At the time that I originally purchased the Alienware 15 R3, there was no 120 hertz G Sync model, and there was only the 60 hertz FPS model which uh, I opted for but I want to see the difference because when I was making my purchase I wasn't sure how good the 120 hertz screen was the viewing angles and all that excuse me but now I have that for you and we could do a quick comparison between the viewing angles the performance the benefits and what you might want to go for for your uh, gaming laptop of course you can use this as a comparison for any IPS screen versus the TN panel version or 60 FPS versus 120 Hertz FPS and also that G-Sync for me it was a pretty big difference and let's go check it out so like I mentioned I want to compare the <clears throat> 60 Hertz IPS model with the 120 Hertz G-Sync TN Plus model and as you can see there is a difference in the picture you can tell that the blacks and the contrast are a lot better on the IPS panel especially in the greenery right below here Gotta zoom in on it. also the sky is a lot better it's a lot less saturated here than on the TN panel. So the green is a little bit a little bit saturated, a little bit lighter, and also the contrast in the mountains are a bit different. For viewing angles, obviously the IPS definitely wins. You can go from an angle and you can see that the IPS is doing pretty good. Um, and the TN is holding up. It is getting a little faded, a little white. Let's try to do it from above now. The IPS keeps its normal contrast and all that. This gets a little bit brighter, but where it really, really fails is when you go from below. Let's see, oh, let's see if I can capture it. Actually, the best way would just me to do this oh you can see almost instantly I push it just a little bit and you can see how it goes negative on the TN panel and look how vivid the IPS version looks it's an instant noticeable difference and I just move the screen maybe a couple couple degrees but you can see it's from the under angle that you notice the biggest difference in the contrast and how well the viewing angles are but obviously it's a gaming laptop right you want to be gaming on it and the 120 Hertz and the G-Sync does a lot more for you when gaming than something like the IPS Let's get another angle from here again try to get as wide as possible on this one this way again and then we'll do it from this angle you can see just how perfect the IPS turns out and you can see it's washing out a little bit on the TN panel again it's totally up to you but I hope this comparison helped to try to decide if you want 60 Hertz IPS no G-Sync or 120 Hertz TN panel and G-Sync. Of course the input lag is going to be better on this one because TN panels are typically faster and I'm sure Alienware didn't go and get a super fast display for their IPS panels. Of course they also have a 60 Hertz IPS with G-Sync but the main difference is, is the 60 Hertz versus the 120 Hertz is the biggest difference especially for competitive gaming but yeah
So let me know what you think. What would you prefer? Better viewing angles, better color reproduction, better blacks, better contrast ratio? Or do you care about core gaming experience since it is, after all, a gaming laptop? 120Hz makes a big, big difference for competitive gaming and even just smoothness of gaming in general. Don't forget that G-Sync screen is a big deal and in my opinion, G-Sync and 120Hz is a huge, huge combination for gaming. And remember, it's a gaming laptop, so maybe that's what you should go for. If you're going to use it for video editing, photo editing, more primarily than gaming, then the better color reproduction on the IPS screen and the better viewing angles might be for you. The viewing angles on the TN panel, like I mentioned, were really, really good until you put the panel down or you looked at it from an underside view. From above and from the sides, it's not too bad. It does get a little bit washed out compared to the IPS, but I gotta say, it's a very, very minor trade-off with the new TN Plus WVA, which means wide viewing angle uh, versions of the screen. It is really good, and I gotta say, nothing beats a 120 hertz or a high refresh rate screen, and that G-Sync is just a nice little addition. So, I'm sticking with the 120 hertz um, I, uh, TN wide viewing angle G-Sync screen because I'm going to be using it as a gaming laptop primarily and just doing some video, to, sorry, some video and photo editing on the side. So let me know what you guys think. What would you rather go for? That IPS crisp display with the better color reproduction or that TN 120Hz G-Sync panel? What matters to you most? What do you do? Or what do you have in your own setup? Definitely leave a comment below. I'd love to get a like from you and a subscribe as I'll be doing more videos just like that. Comparisons, tech, reviews, saving you money. Of course, I'm saving myself money, but stay tuned. So don't forget to do it live.